Welcome back to Let's Play Thomas Was Alone, Benjamin's Flight, Burning Dog fans. We now resume right where we left off. But the air exit is down here. Dum dum. And there's water down here. And nothing else. The world surrounding oh, the fountain now. was brighter than the rest. Light seemed to engulf the space around it, pouring into the chambers. Benjamin was close. The jetpack was working. Benjamin thought of his father again. He thought about how proud the big square would be of what he'd accomplished. I missed a button somewhere along the way. Unless I put it further down again, which would be stupid. No, oh, there it is. I keep waiting for Sarah to fall from the sky. Come on, Sarah, we can do this. I don't like the look at this one little bit. Okay, I thought the walls were gonna close in. Sarah knew she could not follow Benjamin any further. She would wait here. He would return soon enough. And he would tell her everything. The lights grew even brighter, and with tears in his eyes, Benjamin ascended. Well, what if I just did this? See, I need to keep stopping so the camera can keep up with him. But... Bye, Sarah. It shone now it before him, its light reverberating off the walls percussively. It was awesome. It was everything he had hoped. Savages He's... didn't matter anymore. Was this section... Purple oh, fuck. Girls didn't matter anymore. Cute purple fan girl. It was only Benjamin and the fountain. Now I feel bad. Oh, this is yeah. This down here is where Sarah was trapped. And Thomas spawned over here. The light engulfed Benjamin. He was. He couldn't... Oh... I had just been wondering if that section of lines over on the left side of that level was there when Thomas went there. Okay, uh, when you're in a maze, hug a wall. Alright, loops around here. Alright, loops around here. Benjamin 
was blind. He had seen shadows, bright lights, data in innumerable and unimaginable combinations. And then it had gone. He wasn't ready. Benjamin is Paul? He sat. There's nothing else to do. He'd try and find his way home tomorrow. So he wasn't the one the fountain was meant for? Is that what it is? That's why he didn't see the uh, the cats that couldn't spell? I think this is the last level, so I'm just going to try and beat this. like I need to go up to the... I know the thing is in the upper uh, left, so... What if I just go up into the left, huh? No, that didn't work either. Okay! Very well. Okay! Where I ended up anyway. Back to plan A, I guess. This music is weird. Oh, right, there is no map button. Fine, I will retrace my steps then. Unless there are islands, oh shit, like this, where it doesn't touch the uh, sides, you can always, you can eventually find the end of a maze by hugging one wall and just following it wherever it goes. Okay. This is happening. Sarah fell. Benjamin was stuck up there. She had no idea if she'd ever see him again. No. Ah! That's very clever. Putting it all the way over there. The fountain had destroyed everything. It had unleashed the clouds. It had blinded Benjamin. Wait, the splitters used to guard the fountain and then they wandered out to do whatever? Is that why they separate uh, individual AIs who group together? Sarah swore she would see it again. She'd get back to it. She would know what it was and what it contained. I remember this room. This is one of the first rooms where you get Sarah and she and uh, James and Thomas need her help to finish the room. I think these are the same uh, credits as before. That wasn't half as satisfying as the main game, but they give it to you for free. You know, if you buy Thomas Was Alone, it's in there. They do a really lousy job of telling you it's there. If I hadn't stumbled across someone saying that's how you get it, 
I don't think I even would have realized it was there at all. But there you go! That was Benjamin's flight. <sighs> kind of a bummer, all things considered. I mean, considering how much I really enjoyed the main game, uh... I liked the new mechanic of Benjamin's jetpack, but... I don't know, the puzzles were... They were much harder, and they, uh... I don't know if they were, I don't know if they were even that much harder, if they were just less forgiving. Uh... I did like the peek into Sarah's past. But the character of Anna the Pessimist seemed to serve no purpose. Other than foreshadowing for, you know, what happens at the end. And I thought it was interesting that... Oh, you know, uh... Benjamin gets into the fountain and, uh... gets blinded by it. He... Is he meant to be Paul? I don't think so. Paul was... You know, dark gray, but... You know, Benjamin gets into the fountain, and he, uh... accidentally unleashes the splitters upon the world. That's an interesting little twist there. And I thought it was you know, very interesting to see the, the origin of... Sarah's obsession with the fountain. Although, you know, the, the problem with it, I think, was that unlike the main game, where it's like, oh, there's this bittersweet thing where the main characters all sacrifice themselves so that future generations can be free, this didn't really have as much of a payoff. Uh, because we know that Sarah ends up you know, meeting up with Thomas, and he goes into the fountain, not her. So we know that she doesn't actually find out personally what the fountain is. And we know that in the end, uh, she gets captured by one of the splitters, ends up in jail world, and uh, throws herself into the creation matrix, along with all of her friends. Honestly, it wasn't bad, and there were a few funny moments in the narration. I really liked the part where it called uh, Sarah a cute purple fangirl, and I'm kind of sorry I talked over part of that. But, uh... Honestly, I think my recommendation is this. If you, you know, end up picking up Thomas as alone, play the main campaign, maybe pass on Benjamin's flight. I wonder what that last one was called. Target and Consequence. Hmm. But there you have it. That is the entirety of Thomas was alone. So, without further ado, I'm Burning Dogface, and on behalf of myself, Benjamin, Sarah, oh, Benjamin's father, and yes, even Anna, and on behalf of Thomas and all of his friends from the main game, I thank you for joining me for Let's Play Thomas Was Alone.
hope you've enjoyed watching me come on this journey. And I hope you'll join me for whatever my next video series is. Till then, I'll see ya. Later!